The cost of the economic crisis, the cost of the war in Iraq, means that Washington is going to have to tighten its belt just like you have had to tighten your belts in your family. It means that we're going to have to put off spending on some things that we need, and we're going to have to eliminate things that we don't need. And that's why, as President, I'm going to go through this federal budget line by line. We are going to stop wasting money in Washington. We've got too much to do to waste money on programs that don't work. But as I've said from the day this journey began, the change we need isn't just about new programs and new policies. It's about a new politics, a politics that calls on our better angels instead of encouraging our worst instincts, one that reminds us of our obligations that we have not just to ourselves but to each other. Part of the reason that this economic crisis happened is because we've been living through an era of profound irresponsibility. On Wall Street, easy money and an ethic of greed blinded executives to the dangers they were creating for the entire financial system. On Main Street, lenders tricked people into buying homes they couldn't afford, and some people went ahead and bought homes that they couldn't afford. In Washington, politicians spent money they didn't have and allowed lobbyists to set the agenda. They scored political points instead of solving problems. And that's why these last eight years, what we've lost can't just be measured by lost wages or bigger trade deficits. We've also lost the idea that in this American story, each of us has a role to play. Each of us has responsibilities to work hard and look after ourselves and our families. And each of us has responsibilities to look after each other. That's what's been lost, a sense of higher purpose, a sense of common purpose. Yes, government has to lead the way on education, but I can't be a parent to your child. You've got to turn off the TV set and make sure your child does their homework. Yes, government has to lead the way on energy and independence, but all of us have a responsibility to make our homes and businesses more efficient. Yes, we can argue and debate our positions passionately, but at this defining moment, all of us have to summon up the strength and the grace to bridge our differences and unite in common purpose. We can't afford the same political games and tactics that we've seen over the last few years, despite what my opponent may claim there are no real parts of America or fake parts of America. There's no city or town that's more pro-American than any place else. We're one nation, all of us proud, all of us patriots. The men and women who served on our battlefields, some may be Democrats, some may be independents, some may be Republicans. But they've all fought together and bled together, and some died together under our saved, proud flag. They haven't served a red America or a blue America. They served the United States of America, and that's why we're here today. So let me just finish up by saying this. This, this is not going to be easy, Pennsylvania. Just, and you know that, because look at all of you standing here today. It's not easy standing in the cold and in the rain. You know it's not easy. But you also know this is time to come together. Some of you may be cynical. Some of you may be fed up with politics. A lot of you may be disappointed with your leaders. And you've got every reason, every right to be angry with your leaders. But despite all of this, I am asking you right now to do what Americans have done throughout our history. I'm asking you to believe. I'm asking you not to believe in my ability to bring about change. I'm asking you to believe in your ability to bring about change. And I know this change is possible because I've seen it in this election. I've seen the lines of young voters stretch around churches and schools. I've seen workers who'd rather cut back on their hours than see their co-workers lose their jobs. I've seen neighbors take in other total strangers because the floodwaters had washed people out of their homes. I've seen young soldiers re-enlist after they've lost a limb. That's what America's all about. 